بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ذا الحسن يا موسى بن جعفر أيها الكاظم يا ابن رسول الله This is the name of Musa ibn Ja'far, is known as Bab al-Hawaj. The Imam was in prison for the last eight years or ten years of his life. He got lots of mistreatment, sallallahu alayhi, sallallahu alayhi. He was chained, he couldn't move. When he was poisoned in the dungeon, they brought the body out. They brought the body out, laying on a piece of wood. The body was so skinny. They looked at the body, what the chains had done. Just imagine what the chains for so long could do to your neck and your feet and your head. صلى الله عليك يا باب الحوان يا أبا الحسن يا موسى بن جعفر أيها الكاظم يا ابن رسول الله يا حجة الله على خلقه يا سيدنا وتوسلنا بك إلى الله وقدمناك بين يدي حاجاتنا يا وجيها عند الله اشفع لنا عند الله يا وجيها عند الله Let's remember our hajat, brothers and sisters, parents, our uncles, all our relatives, all those who need help. Remember all the brothers and sisters elsewhere in the world who are facing hardship, our Shia brothers and sisters. And remember our own problems, our own spiritual problems, all the difficulties we're facing. There's sin all around us. Sometimes it's hard to control. Remember to ask, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps us stay on the right path. Remember to pray for the 12th Imam, for the coming of the 12th Imam, Allah ta'ala, for the Shaykh. Ya Sadati wa Mawali, Inni tawajjahtu bikum, A'immati wa Gundati, ليوم فقري وحاجتي إلى الله وتوسلت بكم إلى الله واستشفعت بكم إلى الله فاشفعوا لي عند الله My masters, oh my imams, I ask you please intercede for me for the day of judgment I don't have anything to show on my record as good action please intercede for me فإنكم وسيلتي إلى الله وبحبكم وبقربكم أرجو نجاة من الله I hope that my love for you will help me stay away from sin and save me فكونوا عند الله رجائي يا سادتي يا أولياء الله صلى الله عليهم أجمعين ولعن الله